Hello and welcome to 150 Days of Psalms. I'm Derek Hoven and I am the pastor at Salem Lutheran Church in Orlando, Florida. And for 150 days, I am spending part of each day in one of the Psalms, starting at the beginning and moving toward the end. I always, well, not always, it took me a decade or so of reading the Psalms to begin to see um, them speaking to me in ways that I hadn't before, uh, often by helping me reflect back on my own life. And uh, I hope that you can find that the Psalms do the same for you. Today is day 34, and so we read Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. The praise of God shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the lowly hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt God's name together. I sought the Lord who answered me and delivered me from all my terrors. Look upon the Lord and be radiant, and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction, and the Lord heard me and saved me from all of my troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear the Lord and delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who take refuge in God. Fear the Lord, you saints of the Lord, for those who fear the Lord lack nothing. The lions are in want and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. Come, children, and listen to me. I will teach you reverence for the Lord. Who among you takes pleasure in life and desires long life to enjoy prosperity? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and God's ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to erase the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears them and delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and save those whose spirits are crushed. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from every one. God will keep safe all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. Evil will bring death to the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. O Lord, you redeem the life of your servants, and those who put their trust in you will not be punished. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When I had my first job with my first corporation that I worked for, every year there was this big extravagant party. And when I first began with the company, I did not know this. And so when the invitation to the party arrived in the mail, uh, it wasn't something that I expected or was able to understand right away. It was a cardboard box. Uh, in that cardboard box was uh, the kind of packing material that's a little bit like confetti. And once I got through that, there was a plastic bottle, like a little tiny wine bottle. And opening the bottle, which had a label on it that uh, indicated it was from my company and had some other uh, decorative aspects. Inside that bottle rolled up was the actual invitation to the party. Probably the most uh, elaborate invitation I've ever received, uh, but we receive invitations in all sorts of ways. Sometimes it's the envelope in the mail inviting us to a wedding or to a birthday party. Sometimes it's a verbal invitation to a gathering of people. Sometimes it's an invitation specifically for us, and other times it's just a broad invitation for a whole group of people to join together somewhere in some activity. The most impactful invitations for me are the ones where someone is inviting me into something that has been really meaningful for them. And that is what we find with the psalmist in Psalm 34. It begins by saying, I will bless the Lord at all times and the praise of God shall ever be in my mouth. I sought the Lord who answered me and delivered me. So you get the sense that the psalmist has had this profound experience of God's presence uh, in a time of difficulty that has taken them to a new place. But the psalmist wants others to experience that as well. It says, uh, proclaim with me, look upon the Lord. Come, taste and see that the Lord is good. Come and listen to me. Later, keep your tongue from evil. Turn from evil and do good. There's really a, a holistic whole person to this invitation. 
It deals with listening, with speaking, tasting, seeing, acting. It talks about those who um, seek the Lord, who seek peace. So it really, it does touch on all of the aspects of who we are as a human being. The psalmist is inviting our whole selves into this invitation to experience God's presence. And in all of this, you get the sense that the psalmist has had some movement in the past, this movement from a place of struggle. In the final verse, it says, O Lord, you redeem the life of your servants. And the psalmist knows what that redemption feels like. But the psalmist also wants other people to feel it. And this is where the psalm has a really profound movement. In the beginning, in the first verse, the second verse, the fourth verse, the sixth verse, we hear the psalmist saying, I, I will bless the Lord, I will glory, I sought the Lord, I called in my affliction. But when we get to the end, O Lord, you redeem the life of your servants, and those who put their trust in you will not be punished. This then now is in the plural. The psalm has moved from the singular, the psalmist's experience of the past, to the plural of us longing for God and expecting God to show up in the present in our places of difficulty and to bring that life-changing redemption along with it. And it's that movement that we too can invite others into as we have experienced God's presence to proclaim that presence and how it has impacted our lives, but then to invite others into it, into the collective uh, plural we as we journey in God's grace together. Let us pray. We are whole selves, O Lord, whole and yet broken. Come to us, to the whole of each of us. Help us to hear and see you. Help us to feel your presence. Help us to know where you would lead. Shine through us, Lord, through the wholeness of our fragmented souls, through the wholeness of our stitched together selves, through the wholeness of your grace in us. Amen. Thank you for joining me for 150 days of Psalms. Uh, we will be back here tomorrow with Psalm number 35.